Hello friends, welcome again and this is my new project online art gallery and I have done this project in Java Spring Boot, Angular and MySQL. Uh, so for the server side, we are using Tomcat server and ID, we are using Spring Boot tools, but if you have Eclipse, then you can use that also. For on the uh, Spring Boot side, we are using JPA and Hypernet, right? And uh, these are the microservice based project for the angular side we are using visual studio code for writing the code and we are running the front end part on the port 4200 and the back end part means the api part on the port 8080 right mysql version we are using 5.6 right so these all technology stacks we are using for developing this project online art gallery so there are two parts here the front end part we have developed in angular with html css and back in part we are using java spring boot with mysql database right so these all technology stacks we have used for developing this project so once you run this project on port 4200 you will get this home page one more thing this is a mini project which has only and only customer operations there are no admin available inside this project but we have an admin project also you can visit our website or the youtube channel for seeing the demo video of that major project which has admin as well as customer right so uh, this is only a mini project which has only and only customer operations right so let's start with the functionality go to that part we have implemented what are the features available inside this project so this is the home page of the project you can see the arts are coming on the home page and this all arts are coming through the microservices the spring boot and the data we have stored in mysql database if you click on the buy now you will get this the product details page you can see this is a product details page and you can see the content and you can add the item into the cart but there is a restriction inside the project you can buy you can buy the project only and only if you have login Right. If you don't have login details, you can register on the system in the system and after that you can buy the product. So this is the home page. This is about project. This is a static page and there is nothing dynamic on it. This is all products. All products means all arts. There are eight products available in the database. You can see all of the eight products are coming. This is a customer login and from here customer can log in and buy the products. This registration, if you don't have the user ID and password, then you can register. This is a contact us and it's a static contact us page. We are not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database. Even we are not sending any type of email and SMS from this page. So let's start with the customer login. So for customer login, you can click on the customer login. If you don't have the customer login details, you can register from here. So the user ID is amit at the red gmail.com and password is test. Once you log in, you will get this home page, dashboard page. These are the menu options you can perform. Right? This is a my these all are the options. This is a my cart. It will show you a current cart items. Currently, you don't have any items into the cart, so it's showing blank. The same menu which is available in the dashboard, you will get on the header bar also this is a my orders and you will be able to get all of the orders which you have placed earlier on clicking on any of the order you will get the details of that order with the posting details and the date and full order details right this is a my account section from here you can update your account details so this is a my account section so now i am going to order some of the products we need so going to buy some of the products so once you click on the add products so go on the buy now, add to cart. You can see the item has added into the cart. So this one, buy now, add cart. So two items I have added into the cart. Now let me add one more item. So add to cart, so three items. Suppose if you want to delete any item, just click on the delete and that item will be deleted from the database. This is a checkout. Once you click on the checkout, then it will show you the payment page. You can enter the card number here the card name here this is the dummy payment page there is nothing dynamic on it you can enter any of the any of the value here and total amount you are going to pay is 14,000 rupees 
Once you click on the make payment, you can see your order ID has been generated and all of the details has been mentioned here. You can print the page here. For seeing the order history, so the order ID number is 301, you can go on the my order section and you can see this is the order number 301. And once you click on it, you will be able to see the details of that order. The last option is the logout. So this is a session driven menu and if you click on the logout, then all of the session will be destroyed and you will not be able to access the internal pages. So let me show you logout. You can see the menu has been changed because it's a session driven menu. It will be rendered according to the session. If you log in, then you can see the sessions are the different menu sessions are coming. If you log out, there are different menus. So these all functionalities we have developed inside this project online art gallery. Right? So this is a mean as i told you earlier this is a mini project developed in java spring boot angular and mysql so if you need extra feature inside this project if you need any enhancement inside this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate good things we will make this project more better and better according to the requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much